Okay, so let me get this set up really fast. And screen share. We want... There we go. Okay. So let me scoot that over just a little so you guys can actually see it. <laughs> okay. And I'll kind of go through all these uh, side things too. Let me turn off my Genshin, actually. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> when you uh, first open up Beeroid, you hit new avatar, right? And we're just gonna literally just start from scratch. Uh, just because. Now I use a pen tablet. Uh, I don't know if you guys are using mouse and pen or um, if you guys have a touch screen or what, what kind of setup you guys are using. But uh, I use my Wacom tablet to do just about everything. The only thing is that it makes it hard to move the model around just a little bit. Oh, so you only have mouse and keyboard. So then for you, uh, it might be a tiny little bit hard to uh, do the drawing part. But that's okay. Uh, I think that with just a little bit of practice, you should be okay. And they have tools in here too to help you out with that uh, as far as like moving the hairs and stuff. So when you first open it up, you start on the face editor um, and you can do the shapes of eyes. You can do uh, nose, mouth, ears, all that fun stuff. So for, you can like move them downwards uh, let's see here. And something that um, some tutorials don't tell you is that if you don't uh, like the maximum that this takes you to, you can actually just manually increase it. So instead of one, you can go to two if you feel like it. Or you can go like 1.5. If you feel like it. To give yourself different shapes and stuff. You can even go extreme. You could even go like, I want like three. <laughs> you can just, uh, you can mess with it like that. And if you don't want it, uh, if you don't go that way, you can go like negatives. Yeah, like maximum pointy. So like you can do a lot of stuff, but uh, it just takes a little bit of working around in the program to find what you like. So you can, and then there's the slant downwards, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of customization that you can make with these. Like you can make uh, your ears really big or you can make them extremely not there. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like crumpled up inside your head now. <laughs> Six still has a little bit of ears. Eight's a little bit better. Let's do nine. So it looks really weird with them all crumpled up over there, but that's okay because you can edit the textures too. So like it might look weird over here now, but once you get into the textures and stuff, then it's not so bad. You can erase all that and you do that under face skin. So here's, here's your ears. And you just take your brush and then this is your color selector. So uh, whatever color you do, that's what hair is for. Exactly. It's for, it's to hide up your messed up ears. So like, say I want to do like markings or something on her face. I can either draw on the texture here. <laughs> that does look pretty nightmarish. Like I usually do like a quick guide on the face itself so that I kind of know where I'm drawing. And then I'll go in and I'll fill it in in the texture. And obviously I'm not doing a super good job. Let 
Here we go. But like stuff like that. Oh, you're still downloading it. Oh, should I wait? I can wait. Kind of make it nice, which takes up a lot. I'm, yeah, you know what, I'm sure. <laughs> but you can do stuff like that. Um, but when you want to erase your ears, you just like take your nice little fleshy bit here and you just color all this in. Easy peasy. And then you just won't have ears anymore. <laughs> And don't worry about coloring outside the lines. It's all textured up. Nice! You're getting your fiber optic tomorrow? Oh, that's really good. Nice. You're going to have better speeds than me. I don't have fiber optic. I just have crappy Comcast. But then see? You're still crumpled up, but you don't have those weird textures in there anymore. So that'll be nice. Just get rid of them. And then in this, uh, this is where you also add like blush and like eyeliner and stuff and all that. It was kind of a major pain to add all that, <laughs> but I'll do it because I love you guys. So on top of having a mark tool, you also have a blur tool and that like blurs your edges so that you're not like super rough edged and a lot of my a lot of my texture editing I actually did in uh, um, clip studio paint so if I needed like an advanced blending tool that's where I took it so you can totally, uh, like, I don't know if you guys have Photoshop or uh, if you have Clip Studio Paint or any other kind of uh, drawing software that you use. All you have to do is uh, click on this and then you hit export. And then that'll export it to whatever folder you want it to go to. So then you can work on it outside of Vroid. The only problem is you don't get to see how it updates real time. So if you want to see how it updates real time, you could just uh, do it in here. And I know I'm using an extreme color so that you guys can see it. So uh, I'm sorry ahead of time. I'm gonna erase these marks actually. <laughs> but you kinda get the gesture, like it kinda, I'm gonna get rid of these ears again though. Get rid of these weird textures. It'll be a lot less noticeable if you just get rid of the textures if you're planning to not have ears. So for mine, and this one, I'm just gonna say I hated doing the makeup. <laughs> I hated doing the makeup for my character. It was extremely time consuming and stupid and I hated every minute of it. So be prepared to cry when you finally do get to do it. Oh, I forgot to even mention. So you know how I did that like one cheek at a time? I 100% didn't have to do that. There's a mirror tool right up here. So everything that you do on one side can be done on the other side. So you don't have to suffer. I'm just bad and apparently like to suffer.
And I also forgot to mention that you're going to want to do all your coloring work and stuff on layers instead of uh, actually do it on the default image. Because the default image, I mean, it's fine if you uh, do like the erasing of the ears and stuff like that. Things like that is totally fine to do on the default image. But you definitely want to do a lot of your editing stuff on the layers. So that you have a little bit more control over it. So like she's a little bit painted. But that's okay because we can take this blur tool. We can get rid of these rough edges around here. Blur it in a little bit better. And then we go over to the opacity and we can just kind of lighten it up that way. And then see, she's not so bad now. Not so bad. And then of course you can manually adjust colors and stuff. So like come in here with this tool or with that color and then blur it up again so that it doesn't quite seem so rounded up. It just takes a lot of time, I think, to really find what works. But the good news is once you find what works, you can literally just export all this and then it'll be saved for when you do another one. I'll blur that up again. Yeah, so it'll, it'll, what I honestly did was I uh, did all my body stuff. I did all my eyes, my nose, my mouth, all of that. And I saved it on a model that looks kind of like this. Um, and I export, or I saved it. And then every time that I start up a new model to work with what I've got, I open up that blank model um, and then I work off of that one until I'm satisfied with it. And then I'll save it as like version one, version two, version whatever. So that's that for skin stuff. I'm not, <laughs> not going to get into lips and stuff uh, unless you guys want me to do a quick makeup kind of thing but I'm telling you right now it was straight up suffering <laughs> because uh the way that B-Roy's editing things are <laughs> and then this right here is your eyeball texture so what I did with this is I actually exported this into um <laughs> Oh, clothes. We'll get into clothes. Don't even worry. Clothes are 100% uh, one of the hardest things other than hair uh, to do in this. But uh, so eyes, I, I exported this one, opened it up in um, uh, Clip Studio. And I can now import. See, I have a whole I have a whole folder dedicated to my textures. I can now just import my eyes. And the same thing goes with my highlights. I can just import my highlights. It's not loading though for some reason. Weird. I don't know. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then you can just erase it and... Oh wait, there we go. No? Maybe? Hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Finally, it just took a minute. So that's what I was saying is I just, I exported everything and I did it myself in uh, Clip Studio, but the editor in here uh, is, it's possible to do all the shading and stuff in here. It just takes a little bit more time and a little bit more patience to do. Um, like these eye shines, I actually just did it in Vroid. I just uploaded my eyes and then I just did it and exported it to a new file so that I would just have it for later. Uh, eyebrows and stuff, that's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, you can you can do 
something with them if you feel like it. Like if you want to make them a little bit thicker or whatever, I just don't touch it, uh, to be honest. I just leave it how it is. But if you wanted to do it, I would suggest taking this darker color here and doing it that way. So like you could, you could make them a little bit bushier if you wanted to. You could um, take it and like do the whole ha 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 kind of look with your eyebrows if you really wanted to. You did some really weird stuff. It all depends on what you want your avatar to look like. You can even like with the erase tool, if you're on the default image, you can just erase these suckers. Might take you a little bit to get everything because sometimes the shading and stuff can be a little bit weird. And then draw on those like rounded eyebrows if you really wanted to. Like those. You could just do that if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, them caterpillar eyebrows if you really, really wanted to. You just go up here with the blend or the blur tool and you just soften them up a little bit around the edges. <laughs> oh, hey, Melly! Hi, Melly! But yeah, so <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff. I love you too. I love you too. You're my cutie waifu. Uh, same thing for eyelashes. You can uh, you can adjust the texture for these guys too. But uh, this is definitely one where I would suggest doing it in a different program. Just kind of like following the guidelines that it has, uh, because again, it's not uh, it's not a really great uh, program for this. But if you really wanted to, you could erase some eyelashes. Um, you can add some. Like, oh, these eyelashes aren't big enough. I need some more. I need some more volume. You could just do it like that if you really wanted to. Or you just don't like the shape of these ones, so you just add new. That kind of thing. And then if you don't want to touch them, like, if you... If you think they look fine or if you want to look into other options, there are uh, presets that you can find and download on Booth. And I can I can actually link that to you guys here in a second after we're done uh, explaining stuff. Same thing with eyeline. This is the eyeline. Just this little creasy area here. And you can change all the colors for this. So like if I want to change it to white, I can. Okay, bye, Billy. And then, ta-da, white. And then if I want to do my eyebrows, boom, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now she looks really weird because she doesn't have hair. But that's basically how you would uh, adjust textures and stuff for faces and things like that. So hair is where the real, where the real trouble happens. And I'll tell you, I've spent hours just doing hair and hair alone. So good news is if you know what kind of hair you want, and you want to go shopping for it, you 100% can. And I'm going to actually booth. <laughs> I was looking for Ponsu. So 
So here, and I'll go ahead and throw that in chat. Here is the link for Booth. And they have so much stuff on here to the point where you can just build an avatar out of everything that's on here if you don't feel like doing it yourself. Like they have so much, so much stuff on here. Like if you wanna look for hair, then let me adjust my language really fast. Uh, space, space, we want that. Eh. Search. Oh, yes, it was. It's a little bit hard to find the search terms and stuff like that. See, here's a preset. Here's a preset we can find one on. And I have Google Translate going on. But like you would download this preset and then you could, uh, here, I'll show you with one of, show you with one of the one that I have for my ears. Cause you can make your own presets too. So don't think that you have to go looking for one or anything. You can make your own. So, um, let me get back to Vroid here. So you would go to import from preset. Uh, here's preset one, uh, preset two, I think I don't have anything for. Yeah, here we go. So here's one of my earlier ones. It's messy. It's messy and it's bad, but this is one of my earlier hairs that I tried to do and I exported. Uh, and then I have my ears. So <laughs> there's my ears. <laughs> I also think I have three what's three I don't have anything for three so here's my ears we'll just do my ears so these are ears that I ended up finding on booth um because the ones that I made before and I I could show you if I had another model open but they were not as good as this one uh they weren't bad and they still wiggled and everything but they just didn't have that pretty shine or anything so uh and in hindsight maybe I kind of want to go back to them but I'm not really sure um but say you want to build off of this. Let me smooth that a little bit. So you, there are two ways that you can add hair. You can either do a procedural group, which is easiest if you're using mouse and keyboard, or you can use a freehand group, which will let you add like for drawing. And you have to have the brush uh, selected. That's my texture for hair. So if you're doing like drawings and stuff like that, then you can do freehand. Uh, and you can adjust the width of the hair. You can make it little wispies. And if it doesn't look great, don't worry about it because uh, even if you do it with mouse and keyboard, you can always go here to control points and you can kind of adjust how it sits. So if you don't like how it sits, then you can fix it. You can even like move it upward if you want to. You can move it backward or you can make it longer using the control points. And then the other way that you can add hair is by doing a procedural group Pro procedural group and what you would do is you would have this and it gives you a group of hairs now this one uh gives you a lot of customization as far as what you can do with it um so of course you have your width so you can make it thick you make it really thin kind of go like a little medium uh you can make it thick thick like high off of your head thick or you can make it like super thin where it's like basically flat oh no 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 we want to go back to that there we go um and then with this one you kind of shape it 
to how you want it. So like, let's say you're doing bangs and you kind of want to shape it and you go down here and there's all these options for how you can adjust the hair and stuff. So um, height, that's just length. So you want to shorten it up a little bit because you're doing bangs or you want to make it super long. That's fine. Uh, offset just takes it off your head. Uh, conformity, that just conforms it. So either spreads it out or it attaches it to your face. Uh, position, this one is one that uh, you want to pay kind of a close attention to because this moves that preset hair. You can shorten it up like that. Uh, you can make the interval bigger or you can make the interval smaller. So let's say you wanted to do that. And then centering it, of course, that's just bringing it down or moving it from side to side if you wanted to. Give yourself that seam kid hair if you really wanted to. Uh, hairline will move your hairline down. So this is good for if you're like doing the bangs and stuff like that, because then you can adjust that hairline to be right there if you want it to. Um, then thickness, that's again, just making it thick. There's like three different kinds of thicknesses. And honestly, I don't use them all. I barely use any of them. That's like parting. So like, I know it's kind of funked up, but that's like if you want to part your hair. I, I don't use the parting length, honestly. I would rather do it manually than I would uh, using that. Parting for the side. That doesn't really seem to do anything. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to do much of anything. Okay, so tip curliness. <laughs> this one makes your hair do weird stuff. I love it, though. It's kind of fun to play around with. So like I use this one sometimes, honestly, when I'm doing ponytails, I'll make it to where it's more pointed like this. So then I can layer on the different types uh, to make them floofier. But for now, we'll leave it like that. Uh, flow direction. That's just I want to go. I want it to go to this side. I want it to go to that side. Um, convergence. That makes all your hairs into one hair. So you don't, you don't have to have it like that. Uh, curve. That's if you're doing that uh, kind of sway back and forth kind of thing. Like if you wanted to go from that side. It has its, it has its stuff. Uh, it has its uses. And then that one doesn't really do much of anything. It, it kind of bumps it up a little bit. So like, there we go. We're gonna oh and you can control the number of hairs too i forgot that so if you don't want like all those hairs you can just like bump it down okay so and then this is uh the shape i totally skipped over this part and i'm so sorry i'm kind of everywhere if you guys have specific questions definitely uh ask me because i'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and i'll try to explain everything but i'm not good at it so <laughs> So uh, definitely ask me stuff, but um, this is just your cross section. So um, it's not really easy to see, but these guys are, um, let me lessen the number of hairs here so you can kind of see. So these guys have a diamond kind of shape to them, but you can easily give them more like a triangle shape or uh, you can give them a flat shape so they don't have that volume and they're more flat. Um, triangle just gives them like a little bit of a pointy and I'm gesturing, but you guys can't see my gestures. <laughs> not yet, not yet. But uh, if we get those eight more followers, then I'll get that leap motion. You can see all my weird funky gestures all you want. <laughs> 
But uh, so you've got your flat, then you've got your old version of it. And I think that this makes it concave. Yeah, I think that that one makes it concave. But uh, if you're just starting out, diamond is easiest. And then you have your hair shape. So you can do straight, you can do squid, and then you have Ika-chan. <laughs> so you have actual squid, <laughs> actual squid hair. So we'll do straight bangs since it's like in the front. Yeah, we'll, we'll add that hair back. And we're gonna... Mess with the interval a little bit. And kind of want to position that off to the side. So you have your procedural group. And... You really, really like that one, and you kind of want to do like a part. So we'll say you want to do like a part of that one. You take this, you clone it, and then ta-da! Now you have two. And you can move this one wherever you want it to go. And say you wanted to do that as a part, you can reduce the number of hairs. And then mess with the interval. And then mess with the positioning again. And then you go down here. No, not that way. And you can mess with the curve. If it's gonna let me, please, thank you. Or not, that's fine too. In that case, we'd mess around with the X and Y. Not the X, but the Y. There we go. That's what we wanted. And then we'll go down here. And go with that. So there you go. And then a little bit. I'll have to mess with this hairline a little bit. Which isn't too hard. It takes a little bit of time to uh, get what you want it to do. But once you get it to where you want it to be, then it's not too bad. Let's see here. Position for this one. We'll scoot it over just a little. Ta-da! And you kind of have bangs. Kind of. A little bit. A little bit hard. I do the fluffy bangs whenever I do mine, but you can do whatever kind of bangs and stuff that you want. But as you can see, it takes a long time to kind of get the kind of hair that you want. So we can, uh, I'm actually going to delete these. <laughs> I, I ended up not liking them. So if you end up doing freehand, then you can draw your own. And that's what I do for all of mine, except for when I do ponytails. Then I'll use the procedural because it's super duper easy to just do it. So I always take it like that. I always make, I always take the mesh out instead of having it conform so much. I always want to have it not so conforming in the back. So I take it like that. And then I'll mess with it a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then, let's see here. I'm going to look at me for a second here. <laughs> I'll start like that. Oh, that's really thin. I just, I forgot that I made it a little bit thinner than usual. Here we go. There's one. There's two. Oh, oh, for my model, I use Luppet, but before I used Luppet, I was using uh, 3 teen. But I've also heard that VC 
like V, like very, and then C, like seeing, uh, is very good too. In fact, I've actually heard that it's better at motion tracking than Luppet is. I didn't want it to do that. Mm -hmm. ah, where are you going? Oh, I see. That's the wrong point. It's so easy to get mixed up when you're messing around with control points, too. I this is another case of I need to fix this hair that's what I was saying though is like even if you are using mouse and keyboard there are ways for you to go in and edit and it might take you a tiny bit longer but it at least has that kind of function There we go. <laughs> and I know it looks really good from the front, but see how the back we have this weird curve kind of thing going on? We can go in here and edit these points so that we don't have that weird curve thing going on. It's okay to have some little bit of a curve thing going on, but we don't want to have too much. And then we'll take this and we'll go like that. And then by the time that I hit the ears, I consider the bangs done. So then we'll add another freehand group and then we can label this one just, oh, there's a, there's an A in there. Thanks. There you go. So you can, oh, we accidentally started drawing again. So there's like some fluffy bangs and you can always add more uh, fluff to it too. Like if you wanted to like add some wispies or anything like that one. Just a little bit of a wispy. Or like uh, if you added another mesh and then you wanted to do like some curlies coming out like. Oh wait. Oh no. See we did it. We did it. Delete that. Tiny little bang. Okay, there we go. So freehand group. We got another one. And then this is where I like to use the mirror tool. So I'll take from like the crown of the head and I'll just do that. But of course you want it to be a little bit closer uh, if you're going to do like hair parting and stuff. So like if you're doing a middle part, easy peasy, just meet in the middle. But if you're not doing a middle part, you can kind of go like that and then you'll drag this point to meet this point. But you can also just not do the mirror tool and then just do it yourself. It just takes a little bit longer. 
This is also a part that you can use the procedural tool for if you just want to cover up quick. So like add procedural group, you'd go up here, find your texture that you're using, then position, And then boom, half your head's already covered. <laughs> and then you could just clone it and continue around the rest of your head. <laughs> and then boom, you've got hair. <laughs> and then if I was doing that then, I would go in and I would make several of these. Not several. Several's kind of... Uh, kind of a little bit <laughs> not right but I would take and I would not like that not like that uh hairline that's what I'm looking for and then I would offset it so that it looks a little bit more like hair I think this is what I did uh you always want to clone the last one that you did if you're doing it like that. And then for these guys. Oh, that's right. I'm in the <laughs> So it won't let you do it if you're if you have the brush selected. You have to be in the cursor. So let's see here. These were our first groups, so we want to give them a little bit more offset, just a tiny bit. So they don't clip so bad with the guys underneath. Sometimes it bugs out on you too. Don't worry about the meshes. The meshes are, oh, hi. How's it going, Chase Hour? Chase Hour Raid. Hey, yo, Raid, Raid, Raid. <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm just going through some boring stuff. <laughs> nice to see you too again. How's it been going? I was just thinking to myself, it's been a little bit quiet in here. <laughs> We're just doing some uh, small V-Roid stuffs. Uh, so I'm going through tutorial things right now. We were doing Genshin, but uh, now we're going through this a little bit. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you, Scarlet. I appreciate it so much. And thank you, Chase Hour. You guys are the best. We're just going through some fun stuffs. So we have hair. That's the first part, right? So how do we make hair move? Because if you go to the camera exporter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm just, I'm basically just doing just basic shapes and stuff as a tutorial kind of thing. Uh, you guys kind of missed a little bit of the face stuff, but I can go over it again really quick if you guys ever have any questions or anything. Uh, this is just the program that I used to make my model. So um, I'm kind of helping Merc out and Vanessa also asked what I uh, use and how I do stuff. So um, so at the end of my stream, I go through all this stuff and I uh, publish the one, the full thing, and then I publish clips. So um, at the end of this, I'll go through and I'll highlight stuff and I'll throw it on YouTube also. And I do have uh, my YouTube channel linked in my bio if you guys ever wanted to check it out. Mostly it's a bunch of funny stuff uh, that we do for any of our other ones, but the videos are all up here. Aw, thank you, I appreciate it so much. That would be great, thank you so much. But I do keep the videos up. I don't delete them. I leave them there so that you guys can look at them later. But 
here's how we do. <laughs> so these ears already have bones, I'm pretty sure. So I don't have to go through them with them. Uh, but as you can see, you can test like motions and stuff. Uh, when you go to poses and animation. So you want your hair to move, but you don't want it to go like crazy. So we go back to the hair editor and we go to bones. Yeah, see my ears, my ears are already boned up. So because because they were already a uh, preset. Oh, yeah, and the, the program that I'm using is called Vroid Studio, and it is absolutely free. You can find it online. Um, actually, hey, Vanessa, I think you're still in this chat, right? So go ahead and link that in chat if you want to. Um, but you can also find it uh, if you go to the Pixiv page. The the website where you got Vroid. You just downloaded it. You should have it. <laughs> He's, he's like, what? No. <laughs> Wait, why did it, why did it, it just, it just starred you. Oh, it didn't let you do it. Oh, hmm. Okay, let me, I'll find it. Don't worry. Let's see here. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm still in Japanese mode. Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Piroi picks it. Here you go. Well, and that was, that was, that's what I was going through with these guys too, because they don't have a tablet either. But you can use, uh, you can use, uh, mouse and keyboard just as easily, uh, as you would with a tablet for the most part. I mean, it's going to be a little bit more time consuming, but you can still draw the hairs and stuff here. I'll, I'll go back to design. Here, we'll, we'll do one. We'll do a different color so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So you would go to your brush and then, hold on, where are you drawing? Mm, add freehand group. Okay. Okay, we'll offset this a little bit so you guys can actually see it a little bit better. Or not. Let me... It's because it's under all this hair. So you've got your one hair here, right? But I don't like how it came out. It came all squiggly and stuff like that. So I can go down here to control points and I can adjust it until it fits what I want it to do. I don't like how it turned out all wiggly at the end there, so I'm going to adjust it. Or I want it longer, so I'm going to adjust it. It's still a little bit wiggly, so it's bad. So it just, it just takes a little bit more time, but it's definitely something that you can also do with mouse and keyboard. So, so don't think that, that it's not possible or anything. You can definitely do it. It's just going to take you a tiny bit more time because you'll have to handle all these control points from where you uh, draw with the mouse and the keyboard. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I know. I know. It'll yell at you if you try to do something that it doesn't want you to do, by the way. So back to bones and stuff. So I have all this hair, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. How many, What am I going to do? I'm going to make bone groups. So that's, what it, that's the other thing that you wanted to do when you came in here and you made these different sections and stuff. You don't want to... Uh, you don't want to just make it all in one section because that makes it easier for bones later. So you can go create bone group and that's just your bangs. Yeah, so you can layer up the bone groups like that uh, instead of just doing uh, all in one. So the one, the way that I do it for bangs, I give myself less bones. And then I increase the stiffness just a tiny bit and increase the gravity just a tiny bit. And 
and then I might mess with the fixed point just a tiny little bit, depending on how it looks in the camera exporter. So see, then your bangs move and they're not going all crazy. They're a little bit crazy right now, but <laughs> that's all the fun of tweaking with bones. But you can also try in different poses and stuff and see how they look from there. If you're okay with the wiggle of the bangs and stuff like that, then uh, you're done with that part at least. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, bangs takes a while for me usually. It's probably just because I just made this one that I have so much practice with it. But I usually don't like my bangs to go crazy. And then, so we have these three groups and they're hot, they'll highlight after you've made them into groups. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, I made them all one color. What am I supposed to do now? What does what? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would suggest it 100%, especially uh, for somebody who's just uh, starting out in VTubing and stuff like that. This is a really good alternative to getting a live 2D model, which can sometimes be super expensive. And uh, it can be really time consuming to make it on your own. And I'm not saying that this isn't time consuming because it 100% is if you want to make a really nice looking model. But uh, that's half the fun, honestly, is just uh, doing it. Yeah, or a pain in the backside. Vanessa knows because I've come to him crying before about how my bones are like all the way out to here and my hair won't stop going into my body and all sorts of stuff. So we'll do... This is the same too. I don't like to do a lot of crazy bones because see, look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. So for, I think we're going to actually give me more on this point. I was, I was a unicorn. <laughs> it's true. I was. We're going to actually lessen that now that I've moved that. Yeah, right. So, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on tails. So they're, yeah, they're extreme. Yeah, because I blinked. They're extremely hard uh, to rig up, especially. So that's why programs like Vroid are really nice because it practically does the work for you. So you don't have to worry about it too much. We're going to increase the gravity a little bit. Fixed point is at 46. So that's what I want to copy on. that one okay so then group four three bones uh 46 and did i increase the stiffness again i did not but i did increase the gravity gravity for 05 okay so then you can either make them all one group, these guys, which I think I'm going to do just because these are our under hairs and we don't want them to go like floppy, floppy, flop. <laughs> so you can uh, group them up into one group if you want to. And we're going to, again, make this one lower because you don't want to make it too high. Uh, if you make it too high, then you'll have like bumps all up in your hair and it'll look really bad. <laughs> so then look at that, we've got hair moving. And this is a gap we'll have to fill with an extra hair, but that's not a big deal. We can always draw more hairs. Then you want to test in the different motions, see if that's kind of like what you want. Sometimes the gravity doesn't match up very good, so you can go back and you can uh, give yourself just a little bit more gravity. I think this is where I have the problem here. <laughs> right? It takes a lot of practice and a lot of playing around uh, to see what you like uh, as far as how your hair moves. So I gave myself a little bit more gravity and I think I like that a little bit more. See, you'll see when she like moves like that because you don't want that to be super stiff. The other thing that you can adjust if you don't like how the gravity is doing it is you can turn this stiffness down. We'll take it down to like a 30 and then we'll take this one down to a 30 
and this one down to a 30. There we go. And then it's not as stiff anymore. It kind of flows a little bit better. And that goes for walking, running. Again, we'll have to cover that up with a, with a hair and uh, that won't be too hard. That's just going back into the editor and doing a hair really fast and then boning it and all that fun stuff. So then you've got hair and you've spent days and hours and weeks and so many blood and tears and you hate yourself, but you finally did it. You have hair that, that moves and is nice and doesn't clip into your face. So now you go to body and body isn't nearly as hard. Oh, and booze. Yeah, don't forget, you've probably drunk yourself into a coma at least once and cried because of all the hair that you've been doing. So now you have all this fun stuff. So let's move the model up. You can kind of see her body a little bit better. So this is where it gets fun. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. You can make your hands humongous. <laughs> you can make your hands tiny. You can make your shoulders super broad or you can make them tiny. You can make yourself super squat short or you can make yourself super tall. And as I was explaining to these guys, you're not limited by where this meter stops. You can literally give yourself a five and you'll just be like this for a while. You can make yourself the human centipede if you really wanted to. <laughs> See? 51. You're just, you're tall forever. <laughs> if you want to terrify your friends. Long. <laughs> long, long, girl. Give yourself a 20. <laughs> I, you know, if I could make you taller, I would, Kit. I feel you. It's okay. Monica. <laughs> Hi, Aniki. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to the fun stream. <laughs> As you can see today, we're making nightmares. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. You can do all sorts of fun stuff with this. Uh, we'll put our hands back to normal just for, just for sakes. If you know a friend with a foot fetish, you can help them out by making them bigger. <laughs> don't worry, you can remove the shoes too. So you don't have to wear shoes if that's your audience. <laughs> Aniki like stream canceled, get out. <laughs> so you can do a whole bunch of stuff and then, uh, there's sections and stuff like you can make your head gigantic <laughs> or you can make it super tiny put yourself in a yaoi character kind of thing with the tiny head and the gigantic shoulders and the gigantic hands you know you can make some really weird looking things um and then you can go into texture so uh, this is the texture that i have for mine uh for the base model, but I also have, where are you? Where are you? Stream, where are you? Oh my goodness, outfit. I also have this. Oh, well, hmm. Oh, I know what I did, hold on. You can have that problem. <laughs> Let me import. Ta-da! Cats. Bye, Zane! Thanks for coming! But see, you can have cats. And again, this is just as simple as uh, either finding it on Booth or putting it into your drawing program and uh, doing it that way. You can give yourself white socks, too. 
cute little cat socks. And then you can do a little bit of body sculpting here. We'll, we'll take off her clothes. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, hmm. I guess we can't take off her clothes. Sorry, fam. It won't let me do it. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> There's nothing to see here, but <laughs> you get the you get the <laughs> the whole thing. I don't want to get banned. <laughs> yeah, that's against TOS. We can't do it. We can't do it. But you can do like body sculpting and stuff like that. And again, this is where the Vroid editor is kind of a little bit lacking. Uh, so you can try to draw. If you can pick a color. You can try to draw. And unfortunately, I can't remove my clothing, so I can't show you how it's going to turn out. Give yourself a little bit of definition here. That kind of thing. And then you would go through here with the blur tool. And you kind of blur it up a little bit. Make it look nice. So that it doesn't entirely stick out a little bit. Uh, you can... Let's see here. And... You can... Make yourself... I'm going to actually make a new layer for this. And that's the problem with it. It doesn't uh, highlight your layers. You can make yourself into a completely different color if you want. This is how I made that one raccoon girl. <laughs> or was it a fox girl? I don't even remember at this point. It's been a minute. You'd have to go ahead and do the face and everything, too. Yeah, it was a furry. It was for sure a furry. And then you would give yourself, like... White patches under the arms. So you can give yourself a furry avatar if you really wanted to. <laughs> and again, over here... All it is is just a little bit more work, that's all. And I can't take off her clothes so you guys can see, but... <laughs> I don't want to get banned, so... So you can do all sorts of stuff with this. You can give yourself, like, the fingerless gloves. Like all the cool scene kids. Give yourself armbands. Let's see, how did I... There we go. And then... How did I get the hands? I don't know. That's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. What about spikes? What do you mean, what about spikes? Like, how you how you can do spikes? Is that what you're asking? How are you going to prove you're the real edgelord if you can't blind the competition? <laughs> um... That's when you would get into detail work. So, like, if you're doing, like... Oh, wait. It's not doing it. Hold on. Hold on. If you're doing, like, this and you're... That's where you bring out your artistic talents to make it seem 3D when it's not 3D. So you would go, like... We... Again, because their editor is not great. Uh, 
and then we could go like some middle ground here yeah so you would just have to get a little bit creative that's all <laughs> I'm doing this really roughly I promise I know how to shade a little bit <laughs> I throw shade at Vanessa all the time I know what I'm doing it's okay But yeah, that's how you would edit the body and stuff like that. And then you have clothing editor. <laughs> and uh, as we all saw, I did some stuff I shouldn't have done. Um, this is where you can change your clothing. You live in utter darkness because of it. You like it. It's okay. You can... Go like that and then that gives you like options so like you can make the sleeves really thick or you can make them really thin you got your little sleeves at the end that takes out your creases you can make it a hoodie dress and i mean like a hoodie dress if you really feel like it you just comfort all day long in that hoodie dress. So this says the width, but again, we can work in negatives. So if we want that a little bit thinner, we can do it. But we're just gonna leave it at, we're just gonna leave it at a one. And then you can make your hood really poofy or really narrow. You can adjust your bottoms. You can give yourself a pencil skirt. They have all sorts of presets in here. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to get a different one in. And for this, we need the one piece short sleeve. So different, uh, different presets match up to different clothes. So you can only edit certain things on certain maps. And it's kind of annoying, but that's kind of how it is. So with this, we can again import. I have all these fun little outfits. This is the one that I used on my earlier model. But I edited it, it a little bit more to give me that window here. I got rid of the ribbon. Um, and I messed with the sleeves a little bit to uh, make it a little bit nicer for what I wanted. Which you can again do here too. Uh, you can mess with the cuff tightness here. Uh, if you want to make your skirt not so floofy, you can. You want to make it more floofy, you can. If you want to make it longer, you can. If you want to make it more like an A-line dress, you can. This just gets with a hem. That flares your skirt a little bit more, so you have a little bit more floof to work with. Um, and then you can go in here, and you can either change the color through this, which isn't always recommended because then everything that you do to it afterward, it'll be that color. Or you can color it manually, color all this manually, which is also an actual pain. Where's my brush at? There it is. It's kind of hard to see on the gray background. But you can color all this manually if you really, 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 really want to. But I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> At least not without like a coloring program. And this is just one that I found on the Booth Marketplace. Um, again, there's lots of stuff on there. So you can, uh, if you can't design what you want, you can also just find something that fits your character. So it's not that big of a deal. And then here's all this fun stuff. Here's all this fun stuff. 
So this is all the complicated things. And I generally do not mess with this, uh, but some people might want to. So we'll kind of go over it a little bit. Outline, that should be easy for your hair. We got that one for your face. If you don't want an outline on your face, for body, you can make it thicker, make it not so thick, take it away, whatever. I like to have a little bit of an outline, at least on my face and on my body, just a little bit. So this is, I gotta move the model here because this focuses up on this. Here we go. So this is just the light on your hair. You can make it really strong or you can take it off. This is the compression for that light. And this is all just technical stuff. This is all just details to make your model look a little bit nicer. Um, and then light on your body. If you don't want any light at all, you don't want it to shimmer in the sunlight, <laughs> then uh, you can take it off all, all, all together. If you want it super duper shiny and everywhere you go, you're going to be glowing, then you can make it really strong. <laughs> Again, I don't usually mess with those kind of things. Uh, there's the light rotation. So however you want the light to hit you, I just leave that at default. Um, then shading. Here is the width of the shading on your hair. So that's that under color that you're using uh, when you go to your hair editor and you pick a shade color. That's the color. If you don't want any shading at all, you can throw that at zero. If you want harsh shading or if you want soft shading, you can adjust that here too. We're gonna, and then same thing with body. You can adjust how you shade your body. You want lots of shading, you want no shading, you want soft shading, you want harsh shading. If you want to erase those textures that you messed up earlier, you can add harsh shading. And it's not letting me control Z that. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, I excursion. So this one is like the motions of your eyes. And then it's not letting me control Z anything. So we're going to have to just try to remember how it was set. Oof. Uh, and then spring bones. So you can click this to prevent excessive motion. What that means is that you're not going to get all those crazy fly ups and stuff like, well, you'll get them. You're still going to get them, but you won't get them as badly. Like if you were going to use this uh, avatar in VR chat, I would highly suggest clicking that because then you won't have nearly as much problem uh, with your clothing and with your hair. Uh, moving crazily. <laughs> it has some kind of uh, law to it. <laughs> and then you can adjust the strength of that uh, prevention here with the clothing and with your body. So like you're not like, you know, thrusting a hand through your chest when you go to like touch your hair or whatever. And then finally we get to the camera exporter where you can test all the stuff that you did to see if it clips or if it works really nice. So again, this is just basic. This is just one that I made uh, really quick just to kind of show you guys. You can also do like a, uh, here. You can also manually pose, which is what I did to get the picture on my title screen. So you can manually pose however you want just if you want to test that out. It can be kind of a pain and you'll have to rotate a lot. And sometimes your fabrics don't like that. Dep 
depending on how your body settings are. Your outfit may clip. You move your hand. There we go. Who cares if your thumb clips? It's fine. And then you can move your fingers however which way. That just adjusts the weight of it. And then grip, there we go. Or natural. Natural's probably better for this kind of thing. But you, all these dots and stuff make you do something. So you can pose manually if you really, really wanted to. B. Expressions. Give yourself a cute little smile. And post effects. This is all just for screenshotting, by the way. None of this actually affects your model, so don't worry about if you just want to play around in this for a little bit and get some cute screenshots. Like, let me, desktop, this one. This is the background that I used for my new title screen, and I just flipped it and edited it a little bit. So you can add a background to it. You can then pose into that background. It's just a really nice little program. Uh, and then at the end, you get to do this. Get to mess with that. And then all this, after you're done, you're going to hit export. And it's going to do all that nice posing. And it's just going to say it's in the trash now. <laughs> but that's okay, because at this point, you're done. So then you would just hit export. And then it comes up with all this. So then you put in the avatar name your name, uh, contact information. I always throw in my email address uh, just in case. And then reference, uh, it's just whatever you want to put in there. Version, I'll throw in the version if I feel like it. If you aren't making this for a commercial sale or uh, anything like that, then you can set it to where nobody else can use this. Even if they get a hold of the model, uh, author only can use it. So... If you're running around in VR chat like this, uh, it'll keep people from stealing your avatar. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure that this does keep it from people uh, just stealing it. Whereas if you want just anyone to use it, you can throw up. Okay, anyone can use it. If you are using it for sales, then you could do this. Because then that you can only do it with permission. Uh, violent expressions permitted, sexual expressions permitted, commercial usage. That's where you would do this. Uh, and then additional license. You can link back to your uh, store page uh, or your any page that you use. Uh, all this fun stuff. Redistribution, uh, redistribution prohibited. I can't English, guys. And then you have all these fun stuff that's all complicated and things. And then you just hit OK. And then it would... Export it. So then it would be a VRM. And as for what you do with a VRM afterward, <laughs> that's, uh, that's fun. <laughs> but if you don't want to go all through all that, you can also upload it to Vroid Hub. And last time that I checked, you couldn't just upload uh, this if you're on an English server. I think that it was only JP at some point. But uh, they could have changed it. I just haven't looked into it in a while because I haven't had any reason to update it or upload it to Vroid Hub. But I think that that's pretty much everything. I don't know if you guys have any more questions or any anything. Uh, anything in particular that you actually wanted to see from this or uh, how-tos or anything. You can do a lot with hair, though. I'll tell you that because I made these ears with hair. Uh, the hat in my original model, I made it with hair. You can do accessories and all sorts of other stuff with the hair. Oh no, you missed a lot. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to keep the video up. So if you need to reference back to it or anything, then you can always just scroll through it. 
Yeah, you can just it, you can just rewatch or at any other time. If you guys have any questions or anything, you can feel free to message me and I'll help out how I can. Um, I'm not an expert though. The Vod Squad. Yes, the Vod Squad. Let me. Oh, do, 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 do. I'm not going to save this one just because I made it uh, just to show off a little bit. <laughs> she creepy smiled though. That's why I had to edit the mouth because honestly, I can't handle how the Vroid mouth looks. I just can't do it, man. I just can't do it. See? Can't. Can't do it. Send you that secret CIA protected Discord server. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a Discord server set up yet. Um, I have I have one that I sit in. Uh, that's the Ibsen Discord server because uh, we all played Final Fantasy together. But I'm working on setting up an actual Discord server that'll be uh, viewer friendly and so that you guys can pop in and ask me questions at any time. It's just not ready yet. I need to clean up some stuff. So... I'll be working on that a little bit more this week, and hopefully by the next time that I stream, I'll have a link for you. I just want to make sure it's all nice and set up and stuff before I invite people and send out the link. <laughs> but that's about it. That's all I got. Oh, here, let me show you guys Luppet. So this, ah, this is Luppet. And let me show you guys <laughs> you're gonna get the doubles <laughs> unfortunately let me let me do this will hide me for a second so this is Luppet so you have background controls brightness controls lighting controls Webcam calibration, which is great. And then this is the thing that I'm excited to get, is the leap motion. So it can detect your hands if you have the leap motion. So you can see all your gestures and stuff like that. Uh, character positioning, easy peasy. Lip sync settings, also easy. You can do voice based or camera based. Right now I'm using camera based because I also have the uh, eye facial mocap. And if I don't use camera based with that, then I look really weird and it doesn't match up and it's just not right. Yeah, I 100% I was going to ask you at some point if uh, you wouldn't mind helping me out with it because I'd like to uh, get some stuff set up for it at some point. And then here's a tip. Uh, so if you upload a VRM. Yay! Thank you, Aniki! I appreciate it! So if you if you upload a VRM to um, Luppet, sometimes the shoulders will look really weird. So all you have to do is literally just play with the slider and throw it back to zero and it'll be fine. Uh, here's the advanced motion settings for your leap motion if you have it. Uh, again, I don't have it, so I don't know. Um, then tracking. I would love to go into tracking with you. <laughs> a lot more however because of security issues i can't go into tracking with you too much um hey yeah let's get kit to code a bot for us and then she'll hate me it'll be great she'll, <laughs> she'll kill me <laughs> she'll be like you want me to code you a bot <laughs> wait alrighty. wait it's not gonna it wouldn't be too much trouble Oh my gosh, we'll talk, we can talk about it more later, Kit. I believe in you, though. You can have it say good morning to me. <laughs> or you can have it post all the, uh, all the Wangshan pics that, uh, we want. Oh, nice! That would be great! That would be so much fun. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Oh my gosh. But, um, so... The tracking program that I use is iFacial MoCap, and it um, is on the Apple iStore and it's on the Android store. And I think it's like seven bucks, question mark, something like that. Not really sure. Let me, 
Uh, but it's on it's on one of those, and uh, you can uh, link it up with Luppet, and I think you can also link it up with a uh, three teen, but I'm not sure. I'd have to test it out and get back to you guys. Um, but it links up through an IP address, and that's why I can't really go into it uh, too much with you guys. So, but it's really nice and easy to use. Um, I can take more pictures and I'll post them to my Twitter uh, at some point so that I can kind of walk you through it a little bit more. Um, and then you have this, which is just flips your character. You can rotate me. <laughs> you can take a picture. Um, and then, oh, let me show you guys the character selection. Let me show you guys. So here's all my fun. Here's all my models, guys. All my stuff. You guys haven't even seen the chibi one. I'm tiny. And it's cute. Here's the one that I made a little bit. Here's one that I'm working on. But I haven't... I haven't had much luck because I was stupid and I didn't save it after I exported it. So this one is gone forever. And I'm so sorry. Because this one was good. This one was good. Look at that tummy definition. That was a good one. And then here's the one that I'm using now. Da da da. And then it'll it'll do this weird stuff. Hold on. I'm gonna fix it really fast. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so we fixed me. And see it's doing this weird thing again with your shoulders. That's what I was talking about. It does the weird thing with your shoulders. So, yes. And then you just move your character around. Unfortunately, unlike a uh, three teen, it does not give you. Um, it doesn't give you the option to add in stuff. So whatever emotes you have programmed, that's what you're stuck with. And I'm working on trying to find a way around that, but we'll see. We'll see if I can actually figure it out. Not very smart. Not super smart. We're gonna uh, cancel. We're gonna hide that, and then we're gonna make me a little bit bigger. So yeah, that's what we got. That's what we got. And I'm gonna close Vroid. Avatar changes are not safe. That's okay. So I don't know if you guys have any other questions, uh, but that's all that I've got on Vroid. <laughs> um, hopefully, at some point, I'll learn how to put it into VR chat because that was ultimately the goal when I first downloaded Vroid. But then I decided, hey, VTubing sounds fun. Let's try that. <laughs> so I have to adjust me again. That's the only problem too, is when you swap models, you always have to adjust yourself again. You always have to link again. I wish that it would just stay linked to be real, but it does not. But I think with that, I think we're done for the night guys. Um, thank you guys for coming out. And uh, thank you for all the people that followed me again. I'm really, really close to my goal and I'm really excited for that. So, um, Hopefully you guys keep on sharing me with your friends and I'll see you guys, I think Thursday, I think Thursday, pretty sure Thursday. Hmm. I don't know, but I'll see you guys later. And of course you guys can always follow me on Twitter too. Cause that's where I post uh, little warning messages like, Hey, I'm going live soon. Um, I post some more personal things on there. Like uh, the people that follow me on Twitter saw my, all my little baby plants today because I went to the greenhouse and I bought plants. Um, and then 
I usually do like sneak peeks and stuff there for arts and things. So if you guys ever want like uh, notifications or to see just what I'm doing in general, Twitter is definitely the way to uh, see what I'm doing. So I'll see you guys Thursday and have a good night. Bye.